So today I'm going to talk about saying goodbye and how we say goodbye. And the reason why I'm dressed this way is because pretty soon I'm going to be going on a journey. But before I go on that journey, I want to tell you about how we can spend the next few months together, how we can make the most of the time that we have. All right. So all of us will have an opportunity to say goodbye. It's part of being alive. It's part of being a human being. It means saying hello and saying goodbye. And that's because things change, right? Like the seasons change. And the winter becomes change. spring, except in Philadelphia. <laughs> Spring becomes summer, summer becomes fall, and the fall becomes winter. Even in our days, our day-to-day -day life changes. Things happen at different hours at different times. So we all will have, at some point, an opportunity to say goodbye. And I have a character, one of my favorite characters, who helps me to know how to say goodbye well. And, the re and she does this in how she lives her life. And I'm going to tell you about this character. Her name is Mary Poppins. Now, I am not Mary Poppins. I have no magic. But there, there might be some similarities. Now, does anyone know the story of Mary Poppins? Do any of you guys know? Like what? Like, it's a movie. It's a musical. I like musicals. Um, what, what happens in it? Let's see if we can figure out what the plot is. We back here. Let's see. Uh huh. And she helps the children. Okay, so she helps the children. She comes down in an umbrella, which is kind of magic. So Mary Poppins helps people to see things in a different way. So she comes and she visits with the family and she helps out Michael and Jane who are having a hard time and their parents to see things in a new way. They go on adventures together. They learn things about each other that they didn't know before. And in some ways, we are all like Mary Poppins in that we've shared an adventure together. We've learned new things about each other and we've also grown closer to each other in a lot of different ways. Right? And the most important lesson that Mary Poppins has taught me, and that maybe she's taught you, is that the way to live well is to share your whole heart. To share wholeheartedly. Can you make a little symbol of the heart? I, I think if we go like this, yeah. To share our whole hearts. Now, in the three years that I've been here in Germantown, I've tried every Sunday and every day to share my whole heart with you. And I know that you've shared your whole hearts with me, and that's brought me nothing but joy. It's been great. Yeah, you're even wearing a heart shirt, which is very nice. I'm not wearing <laughs> so, a heart shirt. Okay, okay, yeah. So sharing your whole heart makes saying goodbye, which is a hard thing to do, it makes it less hard when you share your whole heart. And you've done that with me over the three years that I've been here. Now, some of you might not know that my time here is short. And in June, I will be leaving. But I am leaving my heart here with you. And I'm taking your hearts, the pieces of your hearts that you've given to me, with me where I go. Now, there's a song that helps me to remember this, and maybe it'll help you to remember this too, that living well means sharing your whole heart, and that makes saying goodbye a little bit easier. And it goes like this. Hello. From you I receive, to you I give, together we share, and from this we live. From you I receive, to you I give, together we share, and from this we live. From you I receive, to you I give, together we share, and from this we live. Now saying goodbye is never an easy thing to do. 
But when we share our whole hearts, when we create memories together, it makes it just a little bit easier. So don't say goodbye yet. I'm still here for a few more weeks. Let's make the most of those few more weeks. Let's create even more memories and more things to hold each other by. Can you remember that? Yes. All right, and maybe I will fly away into the atmosphere, <laughs> up where the air is clear. <laughs> and most of all, remember that you guys are awesome, <laughs> are so awesome. In fact, you're super califragilistic, <laughs> expialidocious. <laughs> which is pretty good. <laughs> Daniel, Daniel, you are a blessing. The microphone is Daniel is a blessing to us all. And I am gonna miss Reverend Daniel very much. And I know I'm not alone. We have a little less than three months time to be saying goodbye and uh, continuing to give gifts of love and heart to each other. There's going to be sadness and joy. It, that's, that's what I think for a lot of us, definitely including me in the coming weeks. But I encourage all of us to take the time to, to talk to Daniel, let him know how much he means to us, because those will create more memories. And I also want to just mention what many of us know is the richness from our experience. We are Unitarian Universalists, a part of a, a greater international Unitarian Universalist family. So we'll be saying goodbye to Daniel because he's going to go on to be a minister in a different church, which is still to be determined, but some lucky church is going to be thrilled with Reverend DG. <laughs> but we're going to still probably see Daniel down the road in Unitarian Universalist events and stuff. Um, so there's a lot of richness to it, and I encourage us all to engage in the spiritual act of wishing him well and saying goodbye. All right, thank and you. now we're going to say goodbye to you for a very short period of time as we sing you off to your classes. Mm -hmm.